Troy Jackson, a larger-than-life figure who helped put street basketball on the mainstream sports map, will always be one of the greatest and most popular, and unquestionably the largest, streetball players of all time. Even LeBron would be afraid to see Troy Daniels in the NBA today. Troy is probably the biggest dude to actually be good at basketball, measuring at over 6 foot 10, 500 pounds, who moves around like a guard with handles like Kyrie. The basketball world has never seen anything like Troy Jackson before, and boy, the league wasn't ready for that smoke at all. Troy Jackson became one of the best known stars of street basketball, having displayed a showy style of play that gained global attention, and he quickly turned into a fan favorite, making his claim to the fame on the streetball circuit after joining the AND1 mixtape tour in 2002. The AND1 tour and games were broadcasted on ESPN and ESPN2 at the time. Troy Jackson was a player and a spokesperson. He was an ambassador of the game of basketball. With his personality and verbal gifts, Troy commanded a lot of camera time. Standing at 6 foot 10, Jackson was an amazing athlete, even though his weight sometimes hovered near the 500 pound mark. 450 pound behemoth, his weight fluctuated wildly between about 360 to 500, but 450 seems like the most regular estimate. Troy Jackson was the original big baller, with a personality and hoops game larger than his 500 pound frame. Jackson cut an unlikely figure on the court. Jackson was given his nickname of Escalade after dunking on an opponent too ferociously that he threw his defender to the ground, prompting those in attendance to liken him to the rather large sport utility vehicle. He also went on to star with other lesser known streetball tours like Ball Up and can undoubtedly be considered a streetball legend. Troy was simply a very talented ball player on the court. He was amazingly agile for his size. Troy was always the biggest player out there, weighing almost close to 500 pounds, but size did not matter as Troy was one of the best players on the court. He was very skilled, showing innate ability as a ball handler, great dexterity around the rim, and a penchant for highlight reel plays. Jackson's formidable size and style were a perfect fit for streetball, a game characterized by tricky ball handling, alley-oops, and dunks with individual prowess often trumping team play. Troy Jackson was born in Queens on January 1, 1973. He is the younger brother of longtime NBA star Mark Jackson, who played guard for the Knicks and other NBA teams. Troy ironically grew up in the shadows of his older, yet being the smaller, brother. Mark Jackson was at times his biggest cheerleader and biggest fan from their humble beginnings. Troy grew up around Madison Square Garden, working for a time as a ball boy as an eight-year-old. Troy Jackson weighed close to 500 pounds, 227 kilograms, as a senior at Hills East High School in Long Island, New York, but his performances at Rucker Park caught the attention of Bill Hewley, coach of Wallace Community College in Selma, Alabama. Troy then enrolled to Wallace Community College in Selma, Alabama, despite battling issues with weight, even though he continued to play at 500 pounds or more. Jackson earned numerous all-region JUCO honors as a sophomore. Jackson's accomplishments in community college led to a scholarship offer from the University of Louisville. Troy played in college at Wallace Community College before transferring to the University of Louisville. While at Louisville, the school demanded that he lose weight. Jackson complied, and by his senior year at Louisville, he had slimmed down to about 363 pounds, 165 kilograms, after adhering to a strict diet. Jackson only played 20 games during his time at Louisville over two years, averaging 3 points per game and 1.6 rebounds per game, in limited minutes against future NBA players like Tim Duncan and Dammy Fordson, while coming off the bench in a reserve role under coach Denny Crum. After his college career was over, he took his skills to play for the Harlem Globetrotters, before finding his true calling as an elite-level street baller. In 2002, Troy Jackson joined the AND1 Mixtape Tour and became a well-known street ball player with AND1 Mixtape Tour. He used the nickname Escalade because of his size, and he appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated and was described as a street ball legend by the magazine Jet. Troy gained a lot of followers during his time playing with AND1, and he always put on a show for the crowd. His teammate, Antoine, eighth wonder, Scott, told the Herald Sun, he's a big guy, but he can entertain, and he can seriously play. Off the court, Troy was a steadfast worker for the prevention and spread of STDs. On top of being a world-class athlete, 
Troy Jackson was an even better person as a role model for up-and-coming young ballers and fans alike. In February of 2011, Troy died in his sleep. The cause of his death was hypertensive heart disease. He died during All-Star Weekend at the age of 35. In an interview with the New York Post, Mark talked about how much of an impact his younger brother had. He traveled all around the world and touched so many lives, Mark said. Troy was someone that everyone enjoyed being around. So many people felt his presence, and he had a huge impact on the streetball world. Some people called him a gentle giant because he had a big frame, but a sweet soul. The basketball world has lost a good one in Troy Escalade Jackson. My thoughts and prayers go out to his family. Troy left us way too young.